truly an honor for the Faculty of Law, Banaras Hindu University, to have all of you here with us today. We are proud to have Honorable Mr. Justice Rajesh Bindal, Judge Supreme Court of India, as the Chief Guest of the Day. Sir is the former Chief Justice of Allahabad High Court and has served as Acting Chief Justice of Jammu and Kashmir and Calcutta High Court as well. With these words, I would request Sir to do the honor. Thank you. A very good morning to all present. Professor V. K. Shukla, Rector, Panastan, Banaras Hindu University. Professor Rajay Kumar, Head and Dean, Faculty of Law. Professor C. P. Upadhyay, Professor, Faculty of Law. Other members of the faculty, judicial officers, dear students, ladies and gentlemen. When an invite from Banaras comes, nobody can say no. And uh, this is my experience also because I had been in Allahabad for about 14 months. And during that period, I visited Banaras a number of times and I think thrice university also on different occasions. Coming to Banaras means you have the opportunity to have darshan and blessings of Baba Vishwanath. Kal Bhairo, Sankat Mocha, there are a lot of places here. So nobody can say no. I think the dear students who have come from far off places will also have the opportunity to visit all these places. And there are a number of other places because this is said to be the oldest living city. So you are fortunate enough to be invited to visit Banaras and participate in this moot court competition. And opportunities also, you see, this is the university which was set up more than 100 years ago, 1916, by Mahamana Pandit Malviye. And what I read is that he said India is not a country of Hindus, but all religions. That was the vision a person had at that time. And this is one of the eight designated universities by the Government of India as Institute of Eminence. That shows the quality. And also largest with about 30,000 students and out of that 18,000 on campus with 48 countries. So this is very rare achievement or that shows the quality of education here that the 48 countries students are studying in this university. I did not have the fortune to study here but yes as I said that came in functions and before that also because I had visited Banaras earlier also at that time also I had visited I think 2018 also I visited Department of Law because one of the student who was a lawyer he had got me there. And if you enter the university, I think you will immediately feel that it has some heritage value. If you see the new universities, you will see a lot of buildings only here. You see greenery also, a lot of greenery and the old buildings, traditional style. The Department of Law was set up in 1924. About 100 years ago, this year is the 100th year going on. And what I read, the motto of Department of Law here, you must have seen, Dharma is the firm foundation upon which the entire universe rests. This is the motto of the Law Department here. And I think this is the core and the first lesson if you enter the Law Department. Because Dharma means that you perform your duties. And if we all perform our duties, I think there is no problem. The problem is arising because we are all thinking of our rights and nobody thinks that what is my duty. And that is creating a lot of problems. Many of you may be the students of commerce also. And in commerce we have read debit and credit. In all entries there is debit and credit. And finally the trial balance or the balance sheet is there. 
if you have only one side then the business can't continue this not a life is not a business that way but rights and liabilities or the rights and duties you can say not liabilities are equal somebody's right is the uh, other's duty so if you perform all of us decide to perform our duties properly all rights are taken care of this is for you can be assured of it and for that i think if you read article 51 51a of the constitution students read it we also read it and sometimes in the arguments also it is referred to it talks of many things i will just touch briefly first it says respect the constitution national flag and national anthem follow noble ideas noble ideals which inspired freedom struggle and we know in the freedom struggle there were all sacrifice they did not have any self interest in that and many of the freedom fighters did not get anything they just sacrifice their life uphold and protect sovereignty and unity integrity of india defend country and render national service whenever required that is the service for the nation promote harmony and spirit of brotherhood value and preserve rich heritage protect and improve environment develop scientific temper and humanism safeguard public property and strive towards excellence so that the nation rises this is also one of the very important and last is the to provide opportunity of education to children below 6 to 14 though now article 21a was added providing for that as a fundamental right and now in schools it is being provided by the state but still this is this was in the directive principles uh, in the fundamental duties and what is important here is many people just think that what is the what the country is doing for them and if you just reverse it and see what we can do for the country i think then again everything is taken care of so this is one thing and if the motto of the law department is seen if the bhu is able to or the law department is able to inculcate those things values in the students i think the purpose is achieved and this is the need of an hour for all the institutions this moot court combination and you have seen the word mahamana name is yes madan mohan malviya but we all know he was mahamana mahamana is the great hearted person so this title has not been given to everyone this is something different he must have done and that difference i already shared with you that in 1916 he thought of creating these institutions for education he was not to get anything out of him all these institution he was all were futuristic they knew what is the need of the hour and what in future is important for the society now in this tournament i was told 53 teams from different universities in the country are participated after memorials were there i think 24 have been shortlisted so they will participate in this It's my privilege to be part of this and i can share that at that time when i did my law in 1985 the moot court concept was not that much hardly there would be any moot court so i never participated in that our first you can say encounter with the court was only when we started practice and appearance in court was maybe a month after we started practice and there was no confidence and courage to appear in court it was only to get one case passed over so for that also we had to collect lot of strength and courage to just stand up and say these two three words before the court so that was the time 30 years back 40 years back but now it's good that all of you are given the opportunity to express yourself in different moot court competitions and then the court visits also where you have your different experience 
but as a as an advocate also then as a judge also i have attended many moot court competitions but my experience is that the students in many of these i think moot court competitions some of them were international also the quality of preparation and presentation may be even better than many of the advocates who are practicing in court this is what my experience is and one of the moot court i think i attended in allahabad the final was adjudged by the five sitting judges of the supreme court at that time and see the courage of the students i can say that who argued before a five judge bench of the supreme court basically in that moot court which most of the lawyers also don't get the opportunity so this is what kind of opportunity you have in your career now this is part of the syllabus yes but not being taken up seriously by many institutes we know all law colleges are mushrooming now and that is why the quality of profession is also little bit going down but this should be taken very seriously i think and all the students should be made to participate in at least state level competitions if not at the national level so that they sharpen their skills and have more courage to appear in court whenever they go or wherever they go because one need to be expressive also in this profession i think one of the quality is the communication and you don't learn those skills unless you practice yourself and what do you learn if you participate in the moot court competitions firstly you are sent some problem by the university holding the competition so first first issue will come you need to understand the problem what the problem is because unless you understand the problem you can't have a solution for that so most important work i think in every sphere is that you need to understand the problem correctly if you understand the problem i think you are half way through thereafter comes the drafting part as you see in the memorials only some of the teams have been ousted and they are not shortlisted for oral presentation but drafting is very important that it has to be precise real issues are there and you have the legal support in that and drafting along with drafting this research is very important because which law will apply how you will put in your facts in that law and see you are able to make your case thereafter comes the important part of presentation so presentation is again it has to be convincing you have lot of material in your support but unless you properly present that in court i think you don't succeed you may leave your star points but start on the points which may not have much weight that is very important to decide in any case and then your presence of mind because there may be lot of queries by the court some issues may be raised by your opposite side in the court only and you need to have quick response to that that you can give only if you are fully prepared with the case you have some additional knowledge also of different things otherwise may not be possible if you are on a straight jacket line you have studied only your problem and nothing else you may not be able to answer those issues this is very important then analytical mind because you need to analyze lot of things before coming to a solution to the problem presentation drafting analyze many thing and communication skill as i told you is also one of the very important part in this profession at least because unless you can properly communicate what your point is you don't succeed and there are always chances of failure so these are many things few of many things which you learn if you participate seriously in a moot court competition we all had seen the suffered rather the covid 19 pandemic and uh, all areas were affected with this and you must have seen that i think the courts continued functioning except for a few days initially when there was total lockdown and it was only because we had our system of e courts the cases were being filed online and thereafter hearing also through vc so lot of facilities the court created for lawyers also 
because many of the lawyers at different levels at different cities did not have the facilities so e seva kendras were created so idea was to empower the lawyers also litigants also then only we could make use of these facilities if the facilities are there at the court level only on one end this will not have a solution it need to be at both ends so this is how we created the facilities and kept the court system the judicial system working throughout the covid 19 pandemic a lot of cases were filed also and disposed of also and many of you may be knowing that there is a system in few states and delhi i think is the most successful where we have few courts for traffic chalans these are all taken care of online virtual courts are there so one judge takes care of maybe lakhs of cases and till date i think 1 crore traffic chalans have been settled through this virtual mode and fine of about 200 crores have been collected so nobody is required to go to the court or anywhere just online you log in and thereafter fine is imposed and you deposit online that's all matter ends and it has spared our judicial officers also because otherwise number of judicial officers used to take care of all those files these virtual courts in fact if you see now there is live streaming of the court proceedings if many of the students must be knowing it supreme court constitution benches or otherwise also there is live streaming of cases this opportunity you have you can always join and see how the cases are argued and these are all important matter constitution matter bench matters are there you will learn lot of things from that also and with this virtual system you see the lawyers who are sitting abroad are also arguing and one of them is our indian lawyer mr salve he always argues see, because he is now based in london so he regularly argues cases in india he used to appear in calcutta also before us so this is how the in fact it has become one india court because anybody sitting anywhere can file a case anywhere he is sitting can argue a case the parties can appear online so this is the large benefit of introduction of it system in the court and you should be all aware of it the very important another area which i just want to share with you many of the students because i had gone to different law colleges but many of the students did not know about all this this is the national judicial data grid i think all of you should visit that website this contains the information of all the cases in the districts and the high courts and if you see it has the information of 4.26 crores cases pending in the districts and about 60 lakh cases pending in different high courts and second most visited website you see the popularity of the people of knowing about it but some of the law college the students are not knowing about it though this is related with their subject and it has different kind of information available different parameters year wise reason categories and reasons for delay and all that there are lot of information available on this website so you should always visit that website i think and then if you go to the high courts website also you find all the judgments uploaded and many of the website have free text search facility also this has been done in the supreme court also because supreme court reports is the publication by the supreme court of the supreme important supreme court judgments so there also we are introducing into the free text search so immediately you can get any judgment you want to search instead of going to any private reporter which may be costing you i think this one area where the students can help is that you can see the data available on the website of njdg and then analyze it do some research on that because everybody talks about the arrears in court the pendency in court 
as a common man as a student of law you can always have ideas and suggest mayors to take care of that and what more information is required that also you can suggest i think everything needs improvement there is nothing best because we always have to go at the top we are just moving but this system has stabilized but you can always do that exercise and if you do i think this will help the public at large one important area is there we all know that artificial intelligence is taking up very fast but that should not be allowed to take over us it should be only as an help helping tool we all know the judgments are available on various platforms and what the lawyers are also doing maybe i don't know you are doing or not doing they only see some judgment with some quoted words search it and then present that before the court without knowing the facts of that case maybe the view they are presenting before the court was a minority view in that judgment because they have not gone through that judgment in detail on one para comes out if you go online and that is presented in court so don't do that don't take that risk maybe in your moot court also it's very important because when you read the complete judgment then only you will come to know there may be you see in supreme court we are dealing with the state laws of all the states also so one judgment if you quote there may be difference in the law also the provisions of law or if you go to the taxation statutes every year the amendments are there maybe more than once also in a year so if you read a judgment maybe 5 7 year old that may be relating to an assessment year or the financial year which may be 20 year old so may not be the relevant judgment as on date because the law has changed the provisions of law have changed so all these factors have to be considered by you while shortlisting the judgment for your presentation otherwise you may be taken up by surprise in the court that no this judgment will not apply one important area where you enter because after completing your law you may be entering the profession there is lot of problem in ethics you must be seeing the news items daily being published and very recent is the strike by the lawyers in madhya pradesh because some old matters were listed in court as if the old matters are not to be taken care of if you visit the website you may find there are lot of matters pending in different districts or the high courts which are maybe 20 year old 25 year old 30 year old so those also have to be given priority so once the policy was some guidelines were that we should have old cases also on priority parallel with the new cases the so lawyer objected to it and there are other issues i can share with you you must have read in the papers there is firing in the court complexes the lawyers involved in all these offenses and there are others we recently had a case in uttar pradesh only a lawyer created fake email ids of the judges and sent emails to various offices that the judge has desired to do this work this work this work all fake email ids so this is the kind of things some of the lawyers are indulging i think this should be you should be very careful about it <coughs> legal service i think you must all be aware of legal aid this is one area where you should involve yourself from the very beginning i think this may not earn you money but will always give you experience and establish you in profession and most important is the satisfaction which you get out of it if you help any needy especially because in legal aid only the poor persons come and if you help them you will see how much blessings you get how much experience you get so this is very important and mediation is the other area which is coming up very fast there are many lawyers who don't go to the court they only practice mediation this is very important area because initially when this all adr mechanism were being introduced the lawyers had lot of issues they said this may take away their practice 
but that is not the fact in fact everybody has realized now that this is not taking away their practice rather a new area has been created for their practice you don't have to go anywhere sitting in your office only there are a lot of cases referred by the court for mediation some of the parties themselves also approach the mediators if you establish your name in that so that is very important <coughs> Now, after completing your law, you may have many choices because what is normally seen is that the students from good law schools, they would love to join only the corporates because a lot of return is there immediately after you pass out. Yes, this is one area. But many of you should think of coming in litigation also in the courts because unless you do a research, the growth of law will not be there. The law also has to grow with the growth of society. For that, a lot of research is required. We are not to carry on on our beaten track, whichever was there, the judgments which were there 10, 20, 30 years back. You have to carry out search, see how we can proceed, grow further in that. So that also is required. So quality advocates are required in litigation also, not in corporates. And then judicial service is the another area where you can always compete and it's a very satisfying service, I can assure you. This is my experience in the last 17 years. You may not have that much money, but that is not the everything. It's a very satisfying job. So I think many of you should think of that and seek guidance from the, your teachers and all. One area where I had just seen some facts, I was talking about the legal aid and all that. There are about 6,50,000 villages in the country and about 15-20% have the population of about maybe 500-700 only. And in total law colleges we have 4 to 5 lakh students. So if we want to have this legal aid movement throughout the country, total spend out. Why not the law students can take up the villages? the law colleges, depending on the number of their villages, I think almost each student gets one village only. So group of villages can, students can have group of villages and they can always take care of the problems in that village and see where the India lives, because India lives in villages only. And you will come to know the real problems there they are facing and really they can, you can help them understand their duties again, rights will come later on. So what their duties are, if they perform their duties, the rights will be taken care of. So this is one thing we can do as a nation and as a law school student. And we also know that I think in freedom struggle, most of the persons were the advocates or the lawyers. And many known names are from Uttar Pradesh also, we all know. And only one advocate who was the freedom fighter was given the title of Mahatma, Mahatma Gandhi. No one else was given, he was also an advocate. So this is how the advocates had contributed. And in the legal profession, I was reading somewhere, you need to have four C's. Concentration, because if your attention is diverted, I think you can't understand the problem or find a solution. So concentration is very important. Then competence, knowledge is required, clarity, and then commitment. Because any litigant will come to you, give his problem to you, and then, then it becomes your problem. So this is how you have to be committed to your profession. Because once he has faith in you, you should not let that faith be betrayed. Do your best, whatever you can do. But winning and losing is a case is not that important. It's not that you win the case. Why the lawyers are called, called the officers of the court? Only because they have to assist the court to reach a correct conclusion. That is why they have so much of respect. So you have to assist the court to reach a correct conclusion. It's not that by hook and crook you have to win a case. That may not be good for in the long run. 
so this is very important in your profession and then knowledge in legal profession you don't require only of the law because you may have lot of issues to be taken care of in the courts and for that you may have you may be required to have knowledge in different subjects so you, that also has to be your endeavor that you should have little little knowledge of different subjects like the people who are going in arbitration they should they have some idea of engineering also or commerce also like this moot court is for patent so how the business works how the patent is granted so there are all different subjects these are related to business but then again law is applicable in that so you should have that knowledge also and then another important area is that you should have some hobby also which is de stressing end of the day otherwise this is a very demanding profession you have chosen to enter so that you have the hobby throughout your career you should continue with that and uh, one thing now which is the latest i think about two weeks back the bar council has allowed the foreign law firms to have offices in india though they are not allowed to appear in court but just see that we also maintain the quality and serve your, the clients properly otherwise the foreign law firms with big big names may not take may not take your profession or your business whatever you carry on otherwise they will pay you in rupees only and they will charge in dollars so that is the only difference you get 500 rupees only and they bill the client for 500 dollars so why not you maintain the quality and charge whatever is there whatever your professional fee is but maintain the quality in lot of business now this is a competition on patent law lot of you must be reading in the newspapers lot of foreign investment is being invited so all these issues is uh, arise this is a highly technical law and you got this opportunity to prepare and present a paper in a moot court on this problem i think is a rare opportunity because normally on patents the moot court are very less some are on taxation also you have few but other civil criminal side there are lot of moot court side so this is a rare opportunity in which you are participating so with these few words i will congratulate all the participants but don't see if you don't win because experience and participation is more important i think you learn lot of things to participate in the future because a loser team also will give you some lesson maybe winner also will get a lesson from a losing team because everybody has some good qualities is overall assessment already team a or b may have won so with all the best to all the participants thank you very much for inviting me jai hind